You're watching SoapNet, the network dedicated to bringing you your favorite soaps 24 hours a day. I'm David Forsyth. And I'm Brooke Alexander. February is the month of love, both on and off the set. It happened in real life for Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelos. On ABC's All My Children, their characters Haley and Mateo fell in love. And that's just what happened to daytime stars Crystal Chappelle and Michael Sabatino when they met on the set of NBC's Days of Our Lives. Soap Center followed Crystal and Michael on their Valentine's Day dinner. Hi, how you doing? Good. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm starving. Fish of bread, babe. She knows where to put it. Right next to Mama. There we go. He was my first on-screen kiss, and it was beautiful. <laughs> The couple may have been slow to realize the love connection, but the rest of their castmates saw the chemistry. I remember people standing behind walls listening to our conversations. <laughs> it's a very nosy place. We were fond of each other. I mean, we liked to see each other. There's no doubt that... Oh, you're working tomorrow? Oh, that's oh, great. Good. <clears throat> that's great. But I think maybe people could see it before we could. She liked to travel. And, um, and maybe travel by foot, you know. That's my passion, so to be able to share that with her was amazing, that she would put up with that. I thought that you had the most beautiful eyes. And, and he just, you know, he had, he had this quality about him that was just, it was very warm and, and authentic. It's very real. And I knew that when I was talking to him, he was listening to me. And I think for any woman, I mean, you just, that's, that is gold. That's why I love you so much. Eventually, the couple started smooching off camera. And then things really got serious. We went on a hiking trip, and I was pretty certain that he was going to propose to me. But about five days into the trip, he hadn't done it yet. And I, I was, I was getting really angry. <laughs> I was getting really upset. And I just thought, oh, this is not going to happen. This is never going to happen. Michael did propose in his own special way on top of the Sierra Mountains. So we get to the top of this, this peak, and it's a beautiful day. And Michael says, well, let's, let's write our notes and put them in the box. So we read our notes, and then we said, well, let's exchange each other's notes and just read them. And I get to Michael's and it's like, okay, it's 12, 13 p.m. and it's a clear day, the air is crisp. We've hiked five days. My woman is doing great. And I want to ask her to turn the page, marry me. And it really caught me by surprise because I, I I'd pretty well given up that point. <laughs> They've come a long way since then. They've just celebrated their third wedding anniversary, and now they're expecting their first child. I wasn't expecting to be pregnant. I had taken one test, and I forgot about it because that's how much I didn't think that I was pregnant. I was going to rehearsal, and before I left, I looked at it and it was positive. And I thought, well, I got it tomorrow, and I can't just sit on this all night. It'll drive me crazy. So I wrote him a note. Back to the note thing. I said, I said, I love you. I'm pregnant. I kind of put myself in the boy's place and I think, what is this boy going to think of his mom? Look at this mother he has. So, I think it'll be a, a miracle. Yeah. A miracle that's cause for celebration. Well, I've got this little present here. Don't let the ribbon fool you. What did you do? Well, you don't even know where Tiffany's is, do you? Is it Tiffany or Tiffany? Isn't that adorable? I just thought that was so cute, that little velvet. Oh. Aww. Aww, honey. That's so sweet. It's our bottle. <laughs> that's so sweet. Mm. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. You're supposed to make me cry on TV, honey. It's a half moon rattle. I know. Well, it's going to get a lot of spit on it. <laughs> 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 but that's, that's beautiful. Thank you. Crystal now plays Olivia Spencer on CBS's Guiding Light. David and I have more star profiles and a lot more coming up for you here on SoapNet.